it's your girl Jen and welcome back. Today I have an episode of favorites because August is slowly creeping on up and so I thought I would just gather all my favorite things of July and share them to you like I do every single month. Like honestly, favorites are just like a tradition and routine at this point and if you don't wanna miss a single episode of favorites, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. The button is down below, hit that, become a gem today and let's get started. So I'm gonna start with a couple of fashion bits first. If you've been watching my videos this year or this summer, then you know that I've been rocking mules like nobody's damn business. And here is one of my favorite pairs. This is one from Jeffrey Campbell. And I actually love how little the heel is. It's maybe like, like 1.5 inches and it's all I need, just that little extra pep. On days where I want to be a little bit fancier, I've got this option right over here. These are my dusty blue suede mules from Ray, and these just give me like Marie Antoinette vibes. It's definitely the color and the texture as well. It's just so chic and cute, and I just love mules because they're kind of like the chic version of a flip-flop. You can slip in and out of them and look good doing so. So this year, I promised myself that 2017 was gonna be a year of self-growth, and so that's why I've just been immersing myself with self-help books, and that's why I've been so happy that I partnered with Audible because I've been exposed to so many different types of audiobooks. Uh, if you don't know what Audible is, it is a service where you just have like a massive library filled with audiobooks, podcasts, radio stuff, everything under the sun. And one audiobook that I finished is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. And I know that the title is like kind of jarring, a little douchey, but I swear this book is not like that whatsoever. Um, I love that it's not like your average self-help book where it's kind of like be positive, like stop being negative or just be confident in yourself. Like it's not just half-ass advice. I really like his approach because it's very raw and realistic and that's just what I prefer. One huge takeaway that I took away from this book was the idea that there is always going to be problems in your life, no matter what. And I know that this is just a very obvious piece of advice, but it is a lesson that really sunk in with me after I listened to this. And there was like one really good quote in this book that just really stuck with me. And I'm gonna read it out to you because I don't wanna mess it up. Don't hope for a life without problems. There's no such thing. Instead, hope for a life full of good problems. You are defined by what you're willing to struggle for. And I just love this mentality because it's so real. I don't know, like the past years or the past few years of my adult life, I feel like I was always just kind of like running through the motions of fixing problems, solving problems, like dealing with a problem and then solving the problem. And I, it, it really felt just never ending because it is. And I guess I always saw problems as like a negative thing, like, oh, like uh, of course another thing went wrong. But that's just what life is. It happens in life and it's just all about the way you deal and handle situations. And sometimes a problem is actually a blessing. And I feel like this concept really just stuck with me and has helped me immensely. And there's so many other great things about this book. This has been an amazing audiobook to just get ready to clean the house with. I know a lot of people struggle with finding the time to read a book, but with an audiobook, you can really pop one on whenever, and it's good to multitask. Your brain is a powerful thing. You can do a lot of things. Um, if you wanna check this out, make sure you head on over to audible.com slash close. They're doing a 30-day free trial, so please check it out. Uh, they have so many different types of genres, and if you don't like a book, you can always switch it out. So it's kinda like a library, but with audiobooks. My next favorite is an accessory that has not left my body since I've gotten it. It's this nameplate from Amarillo. I just love dainty and delicate pieces like this. Like this chain is everything. It's so glimmery, it's so soft and very feminine. And I just actually really love the way that the name is in all caps. Normally nameplate necklaces, they're like in cursive, but I feel like this is like a nice little twist. And because it's summer, uh, obviously my warmer tones are coming out. So I feel like the gold really brings that out. I just feel like it adds like a perfect little extra oomph to every outfit. Uh, a lot of you guys were wondering where it was from, so I thought I would, you know, shout it out. <laughs> Next up, I wanna chat about a skincare product. As you know, I've just been kind of like hopping around with eye creams. I The last one that I liked was Quora's Black Pine Eye Serum, but I wanted to find something that was just like a little bit thicker and richer, and that's where Sicily's 
eye contour mask comes in. I finally got my hands on this after I used it from my friend Ashley. She like swears by this stuff. It depuffs her eyes and she used it like all throughout college um, until now. And so I finally, you know, sip the Kool-Aid and I get it. So I use this in the morning and the night and I used to never wear eye creams in the day, but just, I don't know, maybe it's just the way like my concealer was starting to set, but just something didn't feel hydrated enough. And this just completely solved that. Uh, I'll just apply like a little tiny dot on, underneath both eyes and my eyes just feel brighter. And also my concealer just sets better now that I have this on my base. And yeah, I have been using this for like over a month now and I've been even sharing with Ben and I will use like this amount. So even though it is like a bit of an investment, I feel like this is gonna last me a very, very long time. For my movie favorite, I have the film Get Out. I know I am so late on recommending this, but you know what? It's better late than never. I finally got to watch it with Ben. We saw it on like Apple TV and literally after the film, I was just like, oh my God, this is one of my favorite movies. I would say it's definitely on my top five films for sure. And I feel like the last time I saw a movie this good was probably like Ex Mahina. And just, well, these movies are so freaking good. Uh, so I guess like technically it's like a horror film, but like if if you are scared of horror films, like you, this is not gonna scare you because there's just so many other elements to it. Like it's super funny, it's thrilling, and it's kind of like a psychological bender. Highly recommend this. Um, like a quick summary is, there's a couple and they're finally getting into the relationship where they're going to meet each other's families and you know, they're in an interracial relationship. So there's, you know, a couple differences and I will just leave it at that because it's one of those movies where the less you know, the better. Uh, so definitely go check it out. It's obviously on Apple TV. I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon too. So my last favorite is also something that helps with, you know, self growth. I've been using this app called Headspace for the past 27 days and I I have just been obsessed with it because I feel like it's been changing my life for the better. So Headspace is an app where they do guided meditation and it just improves your mindfulness. So when I first downloaded Headspace, I just had like the free version. So like each of the meditations were only like three to five minutes long and they were very peaceful. But like after the third day, like they asked like, would you like to buy the premium package? And I was like, yes I do. And once I bought that one, just a slew of like, huge packages just came in. So by packages, I mean, they're like guided meditations that focus on different things you wanna work on. So for example, um, I've downloaded self-esteem, basics, creativity, happiness, patience, and the list goes on and you can do a guided meditation every single day. Right now I am doing the self-esteem one and I know a lot of you guys think I'm like super confident, but you know, your, your girl gets in her head a lot and this is something that I've just been dying to work on and I feel like Headspace has really, really been helping. So each of these guided meditations are 20 minutes long and I know like it seems like a long time and honestly it kind of is, but that's 20 minutes that are just for you and I think a way to just make sure that you do a meditation every day is just by kind of slipping it into your normal routine. So I like to meditate after I have breakfast, I'll go back into my bed um, and I'll like make my bed and I'll sit on it and then I'll just do my guided meditation. Uh, one day I would love to be able to meditate without having like someone guide me, but I feel like this is making me closer to my goal. And this is something that I wanna incorporate for my routine as long as I possibly can. All right guys, that wraps up my July favorites. Uh, if you're looking for some music recommendations, please head on over to my Spotify playlist, which is located in the description box. Please hit that. I've been adding new songs like every so often just to keep it, you know, spiced up. Uh, it's mostly like just summer jams, easy songs that you can listen to while you're getting ready or driving. Go check it out. Also, I feel like the lighting is just progressively getting worse because it's like, I don't know, it's just a very cloudy day today. So I'm sorry if it just got super dark at the end. I know a lot of you guys don't care, but it's driving me a little crazy. If you have any recommendations that you wanna share with me or anybody else, write in the comments down below. I love when everyone is just sharing and dumping stuff that inspires them. I, I just love that. So if you can drop some love, share what you've been loving, feel free to do that. I wanna wish you guys a beautiful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.